the science fair project's about finished. Now the teacher says I've got to write a research paper. Whew, I don't even know where to start. I know that uh, fairy godmother said she had an app for some help. Boy, that help would be good now. Wow, who are you? I'm the Happy Research Rabbit Helper. Awesome. I heard your dilemma and I am here to help. Thank you. That fairy godmother's got some cool friends. We're tight. Oh, good. Well, where do I start? Well, tell me, what is your interest? What are you, what is your experiment on? Hey, we're, I'm uh, judging uh, solar energy, uh, an oven, on how the best way to cook an egg is. Good. Oh, that sounds great. You know what? In paragraph one of your research paper, and you're going to have six or seven paragraphs. That well, sounds like a it lot. It does. That's a little scary. Yeah. Well, in paragraph one, you're just going to write about what your science fair topic is about. Okay. Maybe tell a story about how much fun you would think it would be to maybe cook something on your driveway. Oh, okay. So, you be Tracy. Your voice is very strong oh, there. Okay. Three to five sentences. Tell your story of why you're interested in your topic. Okay. That and at the bad. very end of mm -hmm. that, make a prediction about what's going to happen at the end of your experiment. Okay. okay? That, that would be my hypothesis. That's your hypothesis. Okay, that's my And you hard. are finished with paragraph one. Okay, that's easy. Yeah, I thought you would like that. Paragraph two is... Imagine that your uh, reader, some of your classmates, aren't familiar with maybe some of the terminology. And so in paragraph two, you're just going to give some background and talk about some definitions. Can you think of something? Okay, so I could it? explain to them what solar energy is, sure. what passive, what active solar energy is. Good. Stuff like that. Absolutely. Okay, I got that. And paragraph two, you're done. Okay. Paragraph three, four, and five are from expert opinions. Okay. You can go to the internet, you can go to newspapers, okay. science magazines, okay. perhaps even your classroom textbooks. Okay. And you are going to take some notes on what happened perhaps in the past related to solar energy. Okay. Can you think, like how old is solar energy? Oh, solar energy? energy goes way back to the Greeks and the Egyptians. Oh, so yeah. It's a lot so, to look up. yeah. So all you need is three to five sentences about the past of solar energy. Oh, okay. Now you're going to talk about, right now, what's going on in your next paragraph, paragraph four. And you're okay. halfway finished, Tracy. So Paragraph I, four is what's going on right now with solar energy. If I don't really know, I can, I can maybe go Google that and find out who the experts are and read about them. And include that. And you know what? Newspapers are also a good source okay. of information because they are that a, that's a current event. Okay. So think okay. about paragraph four is like a, 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 a current event. Okay. Now paragraph five is about the future of solar energy. Okay. And we can you imagine what's going to happen at the future of solar energy? Well, if I, I know I can. Plus, there's a lot of people out there who are looking to the future, uh, and I could look them up again that's right. on the Internet or, or in, in books and, and, and research that. Find an expert Great. who can talk about the future of something related to your science fair oh, okay. project. And now you have done all of your research. You are done in paragraph uh, six and seven, the very end. Oh, almost done. Yeah. And again, this is in your voice. This is your experiment. And so in paragraph six, outline what you did in your experiment via the scientific method. Okay. You can do that. That's just writing very much uh, in a more scientific way. Right. And then you're very... My teacher late. talks about scientific method. Well, you will not have any problem with that paragraph. And your very last paragraph is, this is what I thought would happen. This is what actually happened, and this is what I learned from my experiment, and this is what I learned in my research paper. And so six and seven are personal, or what you personally did in your personal reflection. Oh. And Tracy, that's all there is. Well, to that's not near as hard. I am so thankful. No. I can do this you now. You can do this. Good luck, Tracy. You're Thank good you. Agenda. You're welcome.